welcome to Cambodia. We just got here about two days ago and I'm on my way to the Khmer Royal Palace. It will start my Cambodia experience in a positive way. We all know how very sad and cruel the recent history of Cambodia has been. And I do want to start it off in a period that has been absolutely amazing for this country and uh, that is what I want to look at first before opening myself to the cruelties of the Khmer Rouge. All right you guys I'm gonna take you in to the Royal Palace. <laughs> that the Khmer Rouge decided to not destroy this beautiful palace and temples. They wanted to have something to pretend to the outside world that everything was okay in Cambodia. So sad reason but lucky coincidence that this palace actually got preserved. <laughs> golden period of time, golden age, yeah. because uh, Cambodian in that time, uh, you know, I heard all the people, they remember uh, his, uh, the country very prosperous, very yeah. rich and peaceful, but then uh, unfortunately uh, we fall into the Indochina war, yeah. and then we fall into the Khmer Rouge. Yeah. Genocide regime. Uh, the angry with the people from the city. Yeah. We were called capitalist people, supported by American or something like that in that time. Angry with the bombing or something. Yeah. Like that, you know. So because they angry, they try to revenge. And, uh, and that's how so the Khmer Rouge came people. to power. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, sure. So when they came to power, they tried to. Uh, yeah kill the people from the previous government because they want to turn the country into classless. Yeah. Okay, so my father was taken away and I was separated from my family to yeah. look after the cow, to collect cow dung, to make fertilizer. Because during Pol Pot, every person had to work, no education. They said they have to smash out, uh, destroy the, uh, so what they call enemy yeah. Uh, during Pol Pot, we were executed. Everyone was executed. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Only if we were farmer or taxi driver, we were not killed. Yeah. One of my sisters, she had tetanus. So during Pol Pot, no doctor, no medicine. So one of my sister died of tetanus. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And one sister, she was a baby. And during Pol Pot, we didn't have enough food, no medicine. No vitamin, no uh, uh, vaccination. Yeah. So I lost two sisters and uh, one brother. He 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 could, he didn't work because he was too young. Yeah. So he just walked with my mother to the to the rice field. So then he uh, he could survive and me I work and I could survive because I know how to steal potato yeah. to catch fish to feed myself. Then my mother she could find me and we also walked to the jungle. Yeah. And fortunately we met Vietnamese army in the jungle and they told us we could move back to our homeland. 
So then my mother and one brother and me, uh, we walk back to uh, my father homeland in Kampot. Uh, How old were you then? I was about 12 years old. 12 years? Yeah, yeah. So I started primary school when I was about 12. Yeah. Yeah. So when the king is outside the country, so the palace is under maintenance. Oh, okay. So they only do construction when he's gone? Sure. So he doesn't wake up with construction? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they are not to <laughs> disturb him. Yeah, to disturb him. Well, thank you so, <laughs> thank much. You so much. That was yeah, such a yeah. wonderful yeah. tour. Thank, thank you, you Nari. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very humbling experience to visit the palace today and a good reminder of the ancient history of this country that is so rich in culture and uh, something not to forget when thinking about Cambodia and visiting this country that the recent history is only um, a century in the long history of the country and should not be forgotten.